France is on fire, and I do notice that these videos are getting shadow banned. Just uh, any coverage of protests around the world right now are being locked down by the parent company. So please do hit the thumbs up button and uh, comment down below to keep this thing rolling even in, against the algorithm. Let's talk about what's happening in France. Um, we are seeing a lot of pictures coming out of France, videos coming out of France of uh, overzealous riot police uh, attacking elderly. We're seeing uh, lots of fires. We're seeing burning trash all over the place. Uh, the French protesters are now targeting trash bins and setting them afire, uh, which is a strategy that we haven't seen here in the United States, uh, which smell it's got to smell pretty horrible. But uh, they're attacking dumpsters and they're attacking trash cans, uh, setting them afire. Of course, the uh, unions are not picking up trash, so that's making it all the worse. What is happening in France? Well, the French president, uh, Macron, has narrowly survived a no-confidence vote after ramming through the um, retirement age reforms that millions of protesters have been on the streets saying, no, we don't want it. So uh, the president there has uh, gone to parliament and has said, let's pass this, and he couldn't get the votes. So he just basically did an executive order to ram it through, um, which is apparently sort of allowed by the uh, Constitution there, but uh, everyone's saying that that's not how it's designed to be used in any shape or form. That's for emergency powers, um, not to push through legislation. And that's exactly what he's done. And that has made the French people on the streets lose their minds. Uh, so we are seeing them now attacking police officers. We're seeing them, um, like I said, setting fire to things all around. The country is falling apart. And it's not just France. We're seeing riots and protests all over the world. We're seeing them in the UK, Greece, Israel, Venezuela, South Korea, Nigeria, Moldova, Portugal. These are all safe, peaceful places, places that are not at war. Why are they now erupting so spectacularly in rioting and looting and burning and fires and friends? What are the food prices like? The last time we saw food prices spiking like this was 2010, 2011, and we had the Arab Spring happen. We had protests all over the place happening. Coincidence? We've been saying for a while that the food prices, the way that they are, are going to destabilize the world. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. The food prices are destabilizing lots of countries. Part of the reason why they're so upset in France is because the price of food has gone up so much. The retirees and those who want to retire are looking at the food prices and saying, it's not enough. We need more money. We need to get, uh, we're not going to be able to retire on that. And that's part of the reason what's happening there. I'm not saying necessarily that I agree with one side or the other. All I know is that I don't like the French president. Um, but uh, that may be for very different reasons than a lot of people are out in the streets there. Um, it's very interesting in France where you're seeing the far left and the far right coming together in the common purpose of trying to oust that government. They were unsuccessful by a couple of votes of ousting him completely from government. But... That doesn't stop the fact that people are very upset in that country and in a lot of other places around the world. How soon is this type of destabilization coming to the United States? Well, you know, it all depends on kind of what happens today with the whole um, arrest President Trump thing or um, the banking situation or there's a whole bunch of things that could make the United States pop off pretty quickly right now. Um, we were just talking about the, uh, the agency equity teams, of course, yesterday, that, uh, that there's a radical transformation of the federal government taking place under our eyes where political officers are being injected into all levels of the federal government to ensure compliance and uh, right think, of course. Uh, we're seeing lots of things happening and transpiring all over the world, but 
a lot of that could come home to the United States relatively quickly. I know that's where a lot of uh, you who are watching this are, are coming from. And that's the question on your minds is, is this going to affect us here at home in the United States? And the answer is very quickly it could. And so as it becomes protest season, as it warms up inside the United States, we may see more and more uh, issues cropping up here and there. All right, folks, just keep your eyes on what's happening around the world, the food prices, as well as the destabilization of governments all over the place. Of course, uh, in the Netherlands, we're seeing a whole different thing, a, a wave of, uh, of people pushing out uh, government officials uh, through elections, uh, whether that's going to give them the relief that they're desiring because they've been protesting all the farmers in uh, the Netherlands for a while. Uh, they don't want to shut down half of their farms. <laughs> Go figure. And when they come for our farms, when they come for our whatever else's, uh, what's going to happen here in the United States? Uh, the clock is ticking on certain uh, accoutrements that go on to boomsticks, right? That clock is ticking right now. Uh, what happens when that clock runs out, we will see. All right, folks, if you found this video to be useful or helpful, make sure you do hit the thumbs up button because this one's going to get, this one's going to get shadow banned. I just, I know it is. Um, and any kind of comments that you put down in the comments down below help get this out to more people too. Nobody's talking about the French uh, protests out there. They're just getting steamrolled by their government and it's just awful to see. But uh, there's another video right here from me if you want to check that out. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Steve Poplar from the Poplar Report, out.